Okay, so um, this is the first lesson on how to set up your Dreamweaver site. Um, the first thing you've got to get right is that you've got to set this up properly. If you don't set it up properly, Dreamweaver won't work properly and you'll get into trouble later on. When you load up Dreamweaver, you get this big box here. It's called a splash screen. In the middle, it says Dreamweaver site. Click on that and hopefully a wizard will pop up. Here it is. The first thing you've got to do is name your site. Um, I like to just call it uh, my underscore site, but you could call it something that has a bit more meaning if you're doing a site about horses, call it my horses site or something like that. Okay, then we go next. Um, then it asks a question, do you want to work with a server technology such as Cold Fusion, AspNet, AspJSP? I don't even know what they are. You don't know what they are, so we'll say no. And then we say next. Um, how do you want to work with your files during development? Well, it's best just to leave it with edit local copies on my machine because that's recommended. Then it says where do you want to save your files? Um, Dreamweaver will make a folder in your user space called whatever you've called it at the beginning. It's best just to leave that. Then we say next. How do you collect your remote server? Well, I don't have a remote server. You don't have a remote server. So we'll say none on that one. And then we say next, it gives you a little rundown about what you've done, and you say done. And if you've done it right, you should get a green folder up there. Okay. Um, and that's the end of that one.